This week, sad kitty. Hidden messages. It sucks to be Australian. This is the front page. Welcome to the front page, the show where we talk about a lot of silly stories from the website reddit.com. My name is Samantha Garcia. And I'm Liz Hoffman. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I love to. It's a, it's a beautiful summer day here in Chicago. It is a warm summer day and in I Chicago. I hesitant to complain about it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I know. I always feel like such an asshole when yeah. I complain in summer because in literally like three months, I'll be it's like, be why? <laughs> it's uh, so cold. And then it'll never be warm again. Never, ever, so I'm ever. I'm just trying to like be grateful for the sunshine that we have now. It's true. Even it's though true. it's causing me, me to be a sweaty, sweaty mess. It's disgusting. Um, but now, okay. you're right. I, I feel chastened. Uh, I will not complain okay. about the heat. I'm glad that we can be a sweaty mess together. Yes. Let's sweaty messes together. Re- uh, Muppets sweaty arms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. Yes. Submitted by Rumsey the Hobo. To, yeah. Yeah. You don't hear hobo much these days. You really don't. You don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mostly it's a uh, transient. Yes. I mean, like you know, more politically correct yeah. terms. If, wait, than hobo is not a politically. Hobo. I honestly have no idea. But you don't hear it anymore, so I just assumed. It's true. It, Does hobo stand for something? It has to. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I had a joke and then I lost it. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. It's gone now. I should stop talking. It'll come back to me later. This next segment yeah. is come, brought to us uh, by Rumsey the Hobo to the subreddit Alcohol GIF Recipes. Yay! This is called a Blackberry Bourbon Lemonade. Ooh. And it's uh, literally a GIF. It's a recipe. So that you can make for yourself blackberry bourbon lemonade, and it looks delicious. It looks. I watched fantastic. this, thinking I want to be sitting on a porch somewhere yes. with like a picture of this, just in like uh, and a maybe a tiny umbrella, maybe a large umbrella. Oh, uh, multiple umbrellas. Let's yes. go for tiny and large. Yes. Why not? Yes. I live in the modern age. <laughs> you do, do what I want. You can have whatever you want. Yes. Um. So yeah, I had a uh, grand aspirations of making this delicious concoction. Why do I feel like that didn't happen? It did not happen. No. Did not happen. Never does. Uh, someone had to Never go to work does. today, so did not get to make simple syrup or Jobs. go to the liquor store. So, so. what I've made for us instead <laughs> is a little something I am calling bourbon lemonade. <laughs> Just bourbon lemonade. Uh, it's that basically, feels like, like some license it's there. A, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Maker's Mark. Yes. Not a sponsor yet. No. But could yet. be. Could be. Uh, Maker's Mark and squirt <laughs> the lemon soda squirt hence the license with the yes. lemonade the, portion our our good friend lester suggested we call it uh gentleman squirt yes yeah. no the squirty gentleman the squirty gentleman excuse yes. me squirty yes. gentleman is if, what this if we're gonna be inappropriate is. get it right yeah by mistake my mistake um so let's let's give this a shot let's cheers cheers Ooh. i dig it i like it yeah I was well, nervous. I think I found a new mixer for my um, whiskey. My uh, my track record with some of these cocktails has been it's poor. Not great. Um, not what? great. I love I'm you, like... but is it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find recipes that are wacky and strange that I've never tried. You before. do, and they all sound amazing. And it's then just I make the them execution wrong. I make is them wrong. just not. Yeah. Often. Yes. Right, Perfect. but this is great. I, I highly recommend the squirt mm. with the. I mean, number one whiskey kind of can't go wrong with Maker's Mark mm. to begin with. Number one. Agreed. Highly agreed. I still want to try this. This oh, yes. does look amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, it doesn't look difficult. I just, no. I just didn't have time. No. Uh, friends, who better be watching, uh, please have a party and make some of this. Someone. Anyone. I, I hesitate to say, if you have a, a deck, an outdoor deck, yes. have a party, Yes. and then give me like three weeks notice, uh-huh. and then I will make this and bring yeah. this to your party. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I'll give it a shot. I don't have a deck. Uh, we can sit in my living room Ooh, and <laughs> air conditioning comfort. Yes. All right. Three weeks from now. All right. We'll make it happen. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> I will go to the grocery store two days before. And we'll make. I it. feel like I'm gonna have to put it in my calendar to remind you two days ahead of time. Go yes. buy berries. Go make simple syrup. I literally am writing this down. Please right now. don't suck. Just in case. In my notes. <laughs> make this <laughs> soon. 
exclamation point. <laughs> it's <laughs> to like drive home the point. Yep. Yep. That's how it has to be done. But I'm not. I'm not mad at this. Yeah. I yeah. almost got like a like a mm, like a sparkling uh, tonic water with a touch of lemon, which is oh. apparently a thing that is made now. Apparently. Um. And then I was just like, nope. No. Nope. The heck with it. Get in the squirt. Yeah. That's a lemony soda. I think there wouldn't have been enough lemon if you had gone with the lemon-scented mm-hmm. tonic water yeah. or whatever. Or like a Perrier. I thought I might get fancy and do a Perrier. Look at you! Uh, but then fancy I thought, in French. I thought that also might not have enough lemon Agreed. Flavor. I don't think it would have. I think this was the right choice. And then it would have just been bubbles and whiskey. And yeah. uh, what, I, I mean, mean, I'm still going to drink it. I'd enjoy it, but then I right. feel like that's not adding enough to the whiskey. It's not. It's not making it really a recipe. It's yes. just whiskey. Yes. And then you're just ruining whiskey. Stop it. Was this, is this is a recipe. This is. <laughs> there are two distinct <laughs> ingredients. That makes a recipe. <laughs> That's, I'm pretty sure, the definition of a recipe, in oh. case you were wondering. I think that came out nice. Mm-hmm. Maybe, a, what do you, if I had gotten a 7-Up mm. or a Sprite, do you think it would have turned out mm. as, as nice? No, I think there's something about the squirt. I think so, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, I've never really known what to do with squirt before, and I think we've discovered yeah, it. Because squirt's a little harsh by whiskey. itself. It is. Yeah. It's, I don't like it. The 7-Up is a little lighter. Good. This, I think, mm-hmm. needed the nice... Yeah. it's Because it's got to it's stand up to that yes. whiskey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Stand up to whiskey mm-hmm. and then drink it. Yes. Mm. <laughs> this next segment is from... Uh, this username is hard to say. Because it's just LK, 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 K, 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 K. So it's... Can it be about... I don't know. Sorry, friend. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if that's... I don't know how Clever to... Clever s- or lazy? Ooh. Could be lazy. Could be lazy. And I approve. Uh, to the subreddit, no, 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 yes. One man's loss is another man's gain. <gasps> oh! That's impressive. It's kind of neat. That, I mean, I feel, I feel bad for the first guy. Right? That but sucks. But the second guy's like, boom! Nailed it. it. And I love that he even did a fist pump. Like, yes. But like, first guy. So cute. Where'd you go, first guy? <laughs> Is he dead? I hope not. Should we Probably be concerned? Not. No, they're both wearing life vests. First guy's fine. I'm sure first I'm guy's sure. fine. I'm sure first guy's fine. Yeah. 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 We'll, yeah, we'll first go with fine. it. First we'll go fine. with it. Um, have you ever been tubing behind a motorized boat? Uh, not behind a motorized boat. Uh, my father refuses to tow us behind the boat because oh. it's, like, illegal and shit. Is it? As, at least on the river, my parents have a cabin on oh. in Michigan, I think. Okay. Or maybe he just tells us that. Yeah, because so he doesn't want to do cause it. Because he doesn't want to kill us, which okay. is fair. Thanks, Dad. I mean, you could uh, be, like, guy number one. We could be. Uh, no, but we'll, like, float down the river sure. on tubes, which is its own adventure. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, shit, there are boats coming. Get <laughs> out of the way. I don't know that I've ever been pulled in a motorized boat. No. Uh, in this manner. But when I have seen other friends do, like, the water skiing. Oh, yeah. That terrifies me. Uh, the, the few times I've seen people water skiing in real life. Yeah. The person who is driving at a certain point is just like, I'm ready to be done. And will move the boat in such a fashion as to create all of this wake behind them that makes it really difficult for the person they're towing to that stay upright. That seems like such a dick move, though. But I wonder if that's what's happening here. Uh, if the person driving was just like, guys, we're done. Let's here. wrap it up, and and created that wake behind them, not realizing that such a fa- fabulous moment would happen. I, I I'm so. <laughs> Deeply impressed and by guy, guy number two. two. It's just like we're done. Ha ha! Suck it. Take yes. me around again. Yeah. And I feel like if you're the one driving the boat, if you see that, you're like, done. Fair yeah. Enough. You win. Yeah. I, I surrender. Can't argue with that. You can't. No. I don't think I would have the reflexes to manage that. I, that's. It's really a damn astounding. impressive. Next question. Follow up question. Indeed. Do you think they plan this? Ooh. Do you think That's that this a good is question. Like, is that why he's doing the fist pump? We've tried this three times, and, and it we finally, finally got works. it. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. That I never think of that. Like I never think of like, oh, they faked this. I'm so I guess I'm so gullible because no. I'm always like, That's amazing. I did not think it until I started working on this show. Uh. And previous hosts would often say to me, No, this is totally fake. I'd be like, God damn it! <laughs> you got me again, Internet. So now I'm always like, These are everything's clearly fake until proven otherwise oh 
is my Oh, now I'm sad. Now. Why is it sad? This is still an accomplishment. Oh, that's true. I guess that's true. Yeah. It is. Uh, it is. Like, yeah, because I'm sure they, they bit it, like, ten times. Right. Before accomplishing that. And he, like, flips over. Oh, yeah. Like, he, he does, goes like, a completely over thing. and yet still manages to land yeah. sitting totally correctly. Because yeah. I feel like even if I managed to hold on for the flippy do part, yeah. I would end up, like, sliding <laughs> off there and be like, bye! <laughs> oh, no! So close! <laughs> Okay, well, regardless of whether or not... It's it's impressive regardless. Yeah, yeah, pretty delightful. Uh, guy number one, whoever you are, hope you're okay. Hope you're okay. And guy number two, way to go. Nice! Very nice. And then whoever was uh, operating the camera, also excellent work. Also. Whoever's driving the vehicle, good for you. Whoever's making sandwiches back home, way to go. <laughs> Um, I've gone way, on to, way to include the sandwich makers. I back just home. assumed that they got home and were like, "I would like beers and sandwiches now." We are breaking You have the earned them. You have earned them. Submitted by Captain Paranoia to the subreddit stopped working. Input tray jammed. Please remove baloney. <laughs> this poor cat. Oh, Look at this cat. Oh. Oh, just so just kitty. doesn't know what to do. It doesn't. What do I do? You can see the panic in its eyes. I don't. I this delicious. What? Mm, yeah. How? What? Yep. Like, oh, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> what I find interesting is that there's a, a wipe in the middle. Yeah. There's an edit. So. Oh. So what, what happened? Is it just that it's twenty minutes of the cat like <laughs> going? Uh, you see, it's happened, and then we it, then oh. smart edit. Then it's like. An hour later, yes, the poor cat is still, and it like so perfectly conforms to its mouth. It's actually kind of creepy. It I looks also a little know, jokery. Like, like how? Uh, why is the why is the cat not able to like just break the bologna? Oh yeah, just like bologna's not bite that a little strong. harder and and just put that piece in half. Well, maybe it's it's literally like jamming its mouth open because of the width of the bologna and oh. just how it's positioned maybe mm-hmm. why why did that person why did the person feeding the cat give them such a large piece of bologna for this reason for this reason for this exact reason seems cruel they're like we gonna be internet famous Meh. here's some bologna Meh. also ew why do you have bologna people like bologna i don't but I some don't. people do i know some people do that doesn't make it right maybe maybe the cat really likes bologna not, not after not this. Not after this. But. Yeah. He's like, we're done with this. We're Cass done with like, this baloney. You ruined this for me. <laughs> so this is the one Sam and I both chose. Ooh, oh, wow. That, was, that oh. got very loud. The uh, microphone is also exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. Uh, it's submitted by Rhodes Rugger to the subreddit funny. I think it's pretty funny. Uh, I don't think this word search author enjoyed this assignment. So the goal is, of course, to find the kitty-related words. Right, the, one bel- the ones the below. below. Normal words, like cat. The ones that are listed, kitty. perfectly normal. Litter. Uh, but there were some fun surprises to be found by the astute uh, word the, the searcher uh, that paints a slightly darker tone. <laughs> Especially, like, Prozac. Like, that, that can't just actually happen by chance. Like, Someone puts that in there. I, do, I feel, yeah. Prozac is the one that I feel crosses the line. <laughs> the other ones, I'm like, I get it. I really, get what you're spinster, doing there. Spinster's fine. Well, because cat Reclusive. The, the, the stereotypical cat Lonely. lady. Cat Insanity. person. Insanity. Cat person. There, I've known some cat men as that, well. That is true. Some cat guys. <laughs> We're feminists here at the front page. That's right. And somehow the Prozac one was like, that could, that could be anything. That doesn't define whether or not you own cats or it does not no people or no, whatever yeah um i would also argue insanity is yeah. a bit far <laughs> not in my opinion a bit past the line uh but the others i find uh, uh, uh good natured fun i think it's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> i literally spent five minutes laughing at this at my desk when i saw it <laughs> i just oh yeah oh it's it, it there's so many of them. There's so many of them. That it... This also causes me to wonder, what what is the um, the protocol oh. when when peoples are making these puzzle books that are sold in all manner of gas stations and airports? That is a good question. How 
do they come into being? Uh, and then who checks them? Yes. How who this- does? Because you you got to feel like someone should have discovered this. Yes. Like, one of these not intended by the original yeah. person ones had to have jumped out at somebody yeah. in one of the checks. Because I would imagine there's got to be several checks and balances at some point down the road, right? Yeah. And surely someone was like, wait, like, what? Yeah. Hmm. Or did all of those people be like, aha, hilarious. And if so, well played. Yep. Yeah. I, I also want to see that. what the rest of the puzzle book looks like. Yes. Yes. What if they're all like this? That In I want case, that puzzle I, book. I would subscribe to that puzzle magazine. I think I would legit mm-hmm. subscribe to that. Because then it would be, don't just find these words listed here. You know there are other words in that puzzle. Find them all. Find them when all. When other people try to talk to me about Pokemon Go, and I'm just like, your puzzle, your game is stupid, I'm going to bring this up, and they'll be like, your puzzle's stupid. Um, You'll be like, shut your mouth. And turn about would be fair play. Shut your whore mouth. Everybody's got their stuff. They're not stupid. That's fantastic. They're, uh, it, it crafty. makes Sneak. my heart sing with delight. It's delightful. Apologies to any crazy cat people. You know what? You take care of yourselves. You do. You, We've all got you our do something. You do you. We do all have our something. I don't have cats, but... Yeah. <laughs> I have this. We have alcohol. Submitted... By Longborder116 to the subreddit Mildly Interesting. Oh, I like Mildly Interesting. Uh, this restaurant labels their brownies based on what part of the pan they were baked in. Aww. So they have them color coded oh. uh, corner, edge, and center, which I, I think is the most brilliant thing ever. That's not bad. I love that because I don't like the edges. I would be like, mm, "Where's me?" But you want a center? corner or a center? No, I want a center. I see. Because I don't, I don't like. You don't want any of that. I edge. want like soft. I okay. like the soft. You don't want the crunchy. No, I don't like the crunchy. You don't want that change in texture. No. Yeah. My yeah. question is, why are they all the same price? Well, because everyone has their preferences. Because mm-hmm. it's, but I think it's equally valid for it. Because someone's gonna come in and be like, "Hmm." I really like crispy crunchy edges. My sister's like that. She likes the crispy mm-hmm. crunchy. So she would probably go for And you two are perfectly compatible. It's we, very nice. we are indeed. You don't fight each uh, other with brownies. We don't. But I okay, so number one, I wanna know how big the pan is. Mm. Cause that will Good affect that will. how many edges there are, mm-hmm. how many center pieces there are. There are always gonna be four corners right. if I am if I, assuming right. this is a rectangular pan. But I'm also assuming there are multiple pans of brownies being baked at any given time. Fair. So. I'm saying corners would be uh, possibly a hotter commodity because there are theoretically less of them. Because there are theoretically only four per pan. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. But if there are like eight edges. Right. Or however that math works out. Right. Um, but. But the, also, I think centers would be hard to come by. Right. So depending the, on how they're cut. So that's why I feel like they could be on a different price point. Um, I think. I think it's fine keeping them on the same price pipe, yes. though. Because, like, I, even though there are only four corners, like, I don't want those corners. Mm. Get those corners away from me. Sure. Uh, give me my centers. Yeah. So, like, there's there's something for everyone. Oh. So, equal very, opportunity. Very diplomatic. Yeah, I try. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't more bakeries do this? I don't know. I want all bakeries to do this. Yeah. I would buy more brownies. Because I really, I really don't yeah. like the edges. When you are, um, when you were at the bakery and yes. you see the brownie display, yes, is it very difficult to tell if it's an edge or a center? It depends on how it's wrapped. Oh, fair. Because I feel like this, there's cellophane. Yeah. I think you can generally tell yeah. if you're getting a center or an edge. But like, say it's fancy wrapped up in some wax paper mm. or something. Is it so appropriate to, to ask the whoever's behind the counter and be like, I want a center piece. You give me a center piece. Brownie. I think you can, and then they'll be like, fuck you. Really? You'll take what I give you. I, wouldn't you be like... I don't know. I've never oh, a bakery. she needs a centerpiece. Wow. Uh, well, uh, on the other hand, yes. I have worked in property management. <laughs> That's true, you have. Where people have been real dicks <laughs> about fucking nonsense. <laughs> so I feel like uh, now, at this point in my life, if I were to work right. at a bakery and someone came in and was just like, I would really prefer to have a centerpiece. <laughs> you're dead like, inside, so you're I mean, like, fine, there's whatever. There's a centerpiece, here you go. Hope you have a nice Take day. Um, 
Unless there were no centerpieces left, in which case I'd be like, well, I'm just going to cut off the edge and you'll never know. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they have beaten you down where you would even be like, I will cut off the edge for you. <laughs> Don't, uh, I still have fight left in me, so I'd be a like, stronger mm. person than me to work in goddamn property management. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Do you need, Running you out need of whiskey. A, you need a moment in, in a corner? I'll for, do it later. <laughs> okay. Do it after it's, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think you guys figured out why they did that. Why? Because they were so tired of people going. They don't want people to ask about yes. it. Yes. Yes. This is good That's customer service. That's probably it. We're like, oh my god, fine, we'll color code them and you will just serve yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want to be that asshole who's like, ah, uh, no, uh, no. I'm going to uh, touch all no. of them. Right. Yeah. And then you're holding up the line and they're like, for the love of all that is holy, just take a brownie. Yeah. Just take a brownie. That makes sense. Yeah. Then you know what happens? I'm sorry, I'm colorblind. <laughs> Yeah, why are all these circles? Why can't they also be triangles and a rectangle and a Because we're Americans and we're never happy. Can't we can't have nice anything. things? Anything. This is this is exactly Cannot why we can't have, have nice things. things. What Most is this purple one? Edge. Why is there a purple one? I think that's just the color blown out weird. Really? Yeah. So that's blue reading as purple. Yes, that's what I. I, I don't assume. believe it. You think there's a secret purple kind? Yep. I think that's like an off the menu special. You're right. If you have to ask what it is, you don't get to have it. It's a special brownie. Mmm. Submitted by Euros Boy to subreddit funny. Uh, we'll be Aust- the judge of that. <laughs> Australia is off to a great start in Rio. Oh dear, this yeah. worries me. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. No medals. Whoa. But 12 athletes Whoa. robbed. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Number one, are, so the athletes are already in Rio. Yes. For the Olympics. Yes. Because it's starting... I, I don't know. It's starting any know. day. Okay. Yes. So the Olympics are very soon. Yeah. And okay. they can, I I think they get there early to like... That makes sense. They got to You know, run through things and acclimatize and, yeah. and get like practice in and, and all that stuff. Time zones change for a lot of people. Right. Um, just d- different altitude but... can be... Uh, yeah. Can affect performance. Can. Yes. Definitely. So they get there a little early. Yep chill Mm -hmm. get used to things Mm -hmm. uh and then apparently get robbed uh the super fun thing about this is i'm going to rio in september for the paralympics so this makes me feel real good uh mom and dad hope you're not watching because they're already nervous you're gonna be fine that's what i keep telling everybody and literally everybody is like (sighs) so okay According to this graphic, does that mean no one else has been robbed? Well, None that's, of the other well, Olympians have been robbed? what I'm assuming, so I don't know if Why is Australia something being about the Australians, or if just nobody else is reporting it. Yeah. Although, I, having traveled to many a different country uh, often with Australians in the tour group that mm-hmm. I was, uh, the Aussies, whom I love for their devil-may-care attitude, uh, have a devil-may-care attitude, and so are always the ones who are going to be like, let's dangle off of this cliff and oh, see dear. what happens. Uh, so just as a nation, not to stereotype, but in general, they tend to be slightly more adventurous oh, and slightly right. more risk-taking, mm-hmm. which I admire, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm, I'm wondering if the, the stark Maybe they were contrast running around just like is, making it rain. It pretty much, like... Let's do this! Yeah. And, like, going into places they should not have been. Sure. And, and maybe making unwise choices. They are also drinkers. Yep. So. Mm. Uh, hard to uh, say. Hard to say. You are going to do some investigative reporting later this year. Okay. And let us know. Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> and let's, What's going on in Rio? Let's all hope I do not get robbed Don't. in Rio. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Fingers hey, crossed. I will share with you another story that I saw on Reddit this week that mm-hmm. I chose not to include, but now I'm going to talk about. Uh, they, they were saying that the um, swimmers uh, at, at the Olympics are, are in genuine danger of getting very sick from the water. Oh, I believe it. Yes. I've heard many. Of th- I, I'm, I'm very excited to go uh, slightly with, with some slight trepidation, which I've actually never felt before and I've been to like China and Egypt and many many places yeah and this is the first time I'm kind of like because mm, literally it seems like a dumpster fire <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything yeah. that could possibly be wrong is wrong yeah 
And every, not every report, but many reports I see are just kind of like, man, we're not going to fix it. Uh, no. We no. got our chance. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Not do it. So have fun with this. Yeah. Yeah. Like the police are on strike. There's like, they ousted their president and then there's all this political unrest. There's the Zika. There's, yeah. I guess like accommodations are just a shit show for the athletes. It sounds I'm so excited sounds for great. your vacation. I'm so excited for my what? vacation. This is, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, I'm so excited. Well, that's the end of this episode. Yes. We, did we, it. we ended on kind of a dark note a bit, there. A bit. Uh, we might cut it out later. Who okay, knows? that's good. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Mm. Mm. Yep, best cocktail we've ever made. I love you. Oh, man. So good. Uh, mm. Thanks for joining me on this hot, sweaty day. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, we are here in air-conditioned comfort. Yes. And uh, we've had delicious cocktails now. So everything's great. Yeah. 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 High uh, five. Boom. Whoa. Do we dance party? Yes. Dance party. Dance. Dance. Party, party, party. What? What? Uh, hope all of you at home have joined us in that dance party just now. I if you have it, so. let's do it again. Yes. Ba, 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 ba. good about it oh a little exercise <laughs> thanks everybody for joining us uh, uh, please like us on the facebook mm-hmm. the instagram the twitter subscribe to our page it's right there oh. click on it click on it now and then uh i hope you'll join us next week for another very please. silly episode uh liz thank you for being here and thank you for having me and uh we'll see everybody next time on here on the front page bye